Penn State carried a number five ranking into their game with visiting Rutgers, and the defensive line had hopes of moving even higher as Vin Stewart sacked quarterback Ray Lucas early on. Then Stewart and Jeff Perry held a meeting in the Rutgers backfield, nailing Bruce Presley for a loss, and that helped get the ball into the hands of the Penn State offense. And Collins in a straight drop back to pass, looks, throws down the middle, cut by Ingram, back to the 17-yard line. Wood pushed him, and he still was able to make the reception. But well, we said before, they're playing man-to-man -man on first down. It was just a matter of time before Penn State tried to air it out to one of their wideouts. And it was just a matter of time before they punched it in with one of their fullbacks. The give is to Whitman coming wide, lowers the head. Touchdown, Penn State. Good play selection again. Went to the fullback outside. Corner man tried to force it in. He just turned up. For the fourth straight game, Penn State was in the end zone first, to the delight of more than 95,000 sun-splashed fans. Back to pass is Lucas. He has time, throws the sideline to the 35-yard line. He fumbles the ball, and it's picked off by Penn State. Mark Tate's hit caused the fumble. Terry Killens recovered it, and Paterno turned his attention to an offense that's been getting a lot of attention. Kerry Collins' accuracy has been a perfect complement to the Lion ground game. There is a... Fake and a gift to Carter. Carter's to the outsider. Not going to get him. Into the end zone. Touchdown. Whitman makes the key block on the linebacker, but he makes it look so easy. He just kind of rolled and coasted out to the outside. Saw that there was a corner back there. Turned on his speed, and you can't catch him. Easy touchdown. Everything didn't come so easily, though, as the Lions missed the extra point, making it 13 0. But the Scarlet Knights would turn it over again thanks to more pressure from the Penn State front four. Lucas on the shotgun is back to pass. Is rolling to his left. They contain. Intercepted Brian Miller at the 45 yard line. He's off to his right. He's at the 35. He's at the 30. The 25. The 20. And out of bounds at the 13 yard line. Great field position for a back averaging more than eight yards a carry for the year. Kerry Collins gives to Carter. Carter has a hole to the right, steps a tackle. He's at the five, and at the four, the three. Touchdown! I can't believe it. What a run. You know what he did? He got hit behind a line of scrimmage. Once he made his move, he made two guys miss. Then he bounced it outside, knew where the end zone was. I mean, get back in rhythm again. To Doug Graber, the rhythm seemed offbeat. Penn State was up 19, and the Nittany Lions still had not been scored on in the first quarter this year. But a determined Rutgers team was about to change that. Lucas rolling to the left, is looking, throws in the end zone, cut, touchdown! The conversion failed and the Lion lead was 13, but not for long as Kajana Carter was working on another 100-yard rushing game. And the give is to Carter and the flags are down and Carter's into the secondary, breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, he's cut from behind at the 30-yard line. But no one caught Carter on the first play of the second quarter. There's the pitch to Carter to the short side, cuts up field, leaps 10-5, touchdown! And Fran Brady, he drove the linebacker back to the middle. Collins hit Freddie Scott for two on the conversion as Penn State increased its lead. The score had Rutgers wondering when they would get a break. They got one when Steve Harper fumbled on a reverse, only to recover it himself and run for 31 yards. The key play in a drive that would end up in the end zone. He gives straight ahead, and into the end zone goes Presley for the touchdown. Rutgers fans took heart in their team's grit. With Spunk, they started to erase what had seemed the comfortable Penn State lead. Rolling to the left is Ray Lucas. He looks, he throws, it's complete to Vunderberg. They're not going to get him. He's at the 20, the 10, the 5, touchdown. But the Penn State offense would execute the two-minute drill perfectly, especially considering they only had one minute. Joe Paterno had wondered how his team would respond to adversity, and he was about to find out. There's a play action. Back to pass is Kerry Collins. He's throwing deeper. Engram, he's got it at the 20-yard line. Collins led his experienced troops 80 yards in 62 seconds under the calm, cool direction of Paterno on the sideline. John Whitman got into the end zone with five seconds to spare, quelling Rutgers' comeback hopes. The Lions went to the locker room having passed the gut check with an A+. Third, practice explanation now. Quarter, but that's as close as anyone had played the Lions in four games. If Penn State was going to get a leg up on the second half as well, a good defensive effort in the first series was a must. They got it, led by those guys in the trenches. Duborg, snap, set, kick, blocked! 
Penn State will take over. It was the defensive line that was taking over. Tony Pittman led the attack from the outside. Chris Mazik blocked the kick on the inside. As that line continued to shine, even on special teams. They had shut out the Knights, and by the time Rutgers would threaten again, the game would be out of hand, thanks in a large part to the hot hand of Penn State quarterback Kerry Collins. So play action to Archie. Going deep for Freddie Scott. He's got it at the 45, the 50. He's at the 40, the 30. He's at the 25. He's down the sideline to the 10, the 5. Penn State touchdown! And just we're going to say Scott hadn't caught a ball. They came right out, showed a little bit more respect for Ingram. He went right to Scott. Perfect pass. Great speed, and that's that strike force. That strike force would produce more than 300 yards passing against Rutgers, and it helped give Penn State a three touchdown cushion. They would not look back again, but they would look downfield a lot. Collins was almost perfect, completing 14 out of 16. Toss in the always tough Lion ground game, and it's easy to see why Penn State is averaging more than 50 points a game. Milne with the call, touchdown, off the left side, strictly power. And Milne just took it in by himself, put his head down, he does that very well. Penn State has a lot of people doing things very well, perhaps none better in this game than Bobby Ingram, whose 200 yards receiving was the second best in Penn State history. Collins looking, going for the streak, he's got him wide open, and it's taken by Bobby Ingram. Who was back at it again in the fourth quarter. Back to pass, over the slant, over the middle, touchdown! This joust with the Knights was becoming very one-sided, but Rutgers would give it one last shot as Bob Higgins was on at quarterback, and he hoped to impress his coaches with limited playing time. Rolling to the right is the quarterback. He's going to try to get in, and he does. 55-27, a great way to start.